Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode number three of Recreating Hypixel from Scratch. In episode number one and two, we created what we have on the screen right here besides the scoreboard. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to actually add the scoreboard for yourself in the game. Um, so for episode number one and two, we added the tap list. We added, uh, you guys can see I have owner above my name. So I have the owner rank. We added we added the owner rank and also when I say something in chat, I have owner discord link said, hey, um, we have collectibles from Hypixel. As you guys can see, we have the Vanish, you guys can turn people on or off. We have the Mystery Vault, and I believe that is it besides, of course, the Hypixel Lobby. Um, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add the scoreboard, as you guys can see over there on the right side of your screen. As well as adding maybe the um, the game menu. The game menu is a pretty important um, hopper item, so we'll be adding that later on in the video as well. So, first off, if you guys have not watched episode 1 or 2 yet, please go ahead and do so. And um, if you guys are excited for the series, please hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, join Fake Hypixel, which is a Hypixel remix server that is public and already created down in the description. Also in the description this video will be downloads for stuff that we'll be needing later on in this video. Anyway, let's head on over to our files. Um, like I've mentioned before, whenever I switch between Minecraft to another um, tab, my screen will freeze for like 3 seconds, it'll turn black. But here in our um, plugins folder, you guys can see it's a little bit different from last video. I have added QuickBoard. Quickboard is the plugin that we're going to be using for the scoreboard, and I have also added deluxe menus. So go ahead and add both these plugins from the description. Anyway, let's go ahead and head straight into the Quickboard plugin um, file or the folder. This is what it should look like for you guys. Let's go into the config where we're going to be changing a few things. For you guys, you'll see um, in brackets it'll say Quickboard right here. Go ahead and remove that. It'll say it from all three of these guys right here. Just go ahead and copy what I have right here, and um, we we'll be good from there. So go ahead and save that. I go to your um, uh, scoreboards folder, go into the scoreboard.default uh, default file, and go ahead and copy what I have right here. You'll be deleting a lot of stuff, but go ahead and copy and paste what I have right here. And make sure enabled worlds, you guys will already have lobby in here, but make sure it is lowercase. It'll be um, capital for you guys. And go ahead and just copy everything right here. Later on in the series, I will make it to where, um, like for players, we have it set to only one. So if there are like 300 people that are on our server, Right now, it'll only show that there are one people on the server on the scoreboard. Later on in the series, I'll add placeholders to where it'll actually show how many people are on the server and it'll keep it updated and automatic for us. So go ahead and just copy this on over and then go ahead and save it. Go back onto the server. Uh, three second delay. And then do slash plugmin reload quick board just like that. And then it'll be on your screen like there. Or just like that but make sure you of course have already installed the quickboard if you don't know how to install it, make sure you put it in your plugins folder do slash plugmin load quickboard just like that do everything I just showed you in the files and then do um, plugmin reload quickboard if you guys have any issues please contact me on discord um, I'll leave my YouTube discord uh, channel or server down in the description if you guys need help but there we go we have the scoreboard just like that Simple, easy, later on, I will add placeholders where it will be updated. Um, we don't have to change it anymore. But uh, next, let's go ahead and add the game menu. The game menu is pretty important, the hopper item. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with deluxe menus. Um, if you guys have not already added deluxe menus, ooh, it's raining. We can change that. Um, but go ahead and do slash G DM space list um, or deluxe menu space list. You guys can see example. This comes default with this plugin. Do slash DM open example. It'll come up with the GUI menu right here. This is the default, which comes with the plugin. We can completely delete this or change this to however, however we want to. So let's go into the deluxe menus folder in our files. Okay, so on the left side of your screen is the fake Hypixel file for GAD or for uh, deluxe menus. On the right side is what we're going to be changing. This is default, and we're going to be changing to what we have from the left to the right. So you guys can just copy this over. Um, first thing we want to do is check updates. We're going to set this from true to false. And then the GUI menus, uh, we want to completely get rid of everything below this uh, we want to keep the uh, example right here um, but instead of example let's go ahead and change this to game hyphen menu um, and make sure you go ahead and add an equal sign and then go ahead and add below that we'll go ahead and do um, file equals game hyphen menu dot yml we do not actually have this in um, the files yet but let's go ahead and save this um, go into actually let's go back let's go ahead and create another folder called GUI underscore menus and inside of this menu uh, we want to go ahead and create the let's go ahead and create the game menu so let's do new text document 
game hyphen menu dot yml just like that go onto the server three second delay plugman reload deluxe menus once you do that go back into the files three second delay and then now we will have a yml file so you can go ahead and delete the one the text document that we just created and now we have this guy right here so let's go ahead and get um inside of this guy um let's go ahead and go into the fake high pixel file here it is and then now we can go ahead and delete all of these um these texts um if you guys see the hashtag that means anything that comes after the hashtag will be text meaning it's not actually in the game it's just like a reminder just letting you know stuff for this plugin so we can just go ahead and delete all of that text so go ahead and everything that has a hashtag in front of it, you can just go ahead and get rid of and make sure menu title is on top. So now we are creating the game menu on Hypixel. So this is the menu on the on your on the right side of your screen and left side of your screen pretty much. This is the already completed version. But on the uh, right side, we're gonna be doing this ourselves. So for the menu title, when you hover over it, we want to make this called game menu. Uh, actually not when you hover over it, but when you click it. So game menu, just like that. And then commands for opening this, we can change this around. Uh, we can make different commands. Um, so let's go ahead and make the first uh, menu or the first command. Um, let's make it menu. Let's make another one, G menu. And then game menu. And then let's do games. Stuff like that. Um, so if you do such games on the server, it'll open up this menu. The size of this menu, we want it to be very large because if we have, we're going to want a, we're gonna want a lot of games in the future right so it's going to make that 54 um we don't want any requirements to open this um menu so let's just go ahead and get rid of that items let's go ahead and uh, make the first item let's actually go and see so this is the default with this plugin um so we can actually go ahead and get rid of all this stuff so everything below items let's go ahead and get rid of and then for you guys you have to copy this over for yourselves but i'm going to do it um uh, quick and easy so the main menu will be the first um, thing that we're going to have in our menu. So already we can go ahead and save this. Make sure you guys have go ahead and pause this video and type all this out. Make sure the lining is about the same as mine so you don't create any errors or glitch out this plugin any. So I'm going to go ahead and save this plugin or save this file. I'm going to go back onto the server. Three second delay. <laughs> and let's go ahead and reload this plugin. So now that I'm done, uh, done that, let's do slash games. So um, now here's our menu, the game menu, and here's the main lobby. So if you click this, it says you are already in this lobby because that's what we said as in the config, um, the left, right, uh, the left um, and right click commands. So if you're to left or right click this, it'll say you are already in this lobby. But later on, when we add like Skyblock, uh, right here will be Skyblock, I believe. When you right or left click it, it'll send you to a different lobby or send you into a different server. Um, but since we are already in the main lobby, it'll say that in chat that's exactly what it says on hypixel as well the next one is going to be the tournament hall i'm not going to be adding tournaments anytime too soon in the series so i'm just going to add it in and it won't do anything at all um, as you guys can see left click and uh, right click commands will do literally nothing the empty brackets mean that it won't do anything right here this says message inside the brackets meaning it'll send you a message saying you're already in this lobby so let's go ahead and save this make sure you guys have copied this over pause it do all that stuff and then let's go ahead and save it. Let's go back onto the server. Let's do slash plugman reload uh, deluxe menus, do slash games. Then here it is, just like that. When you click on it, like I said, it won't do anything because this lobby does not exist. We don't want to actually have any tournaments anytime soon. So let's just do nothing about it anyway, um, right now anyway. So let's go back into the files and add the next one. The last one that goes on the left side of your screen um, for right now anyway is the all games. One. So let's go ahead and add this guy in. Um, it'll say all games are already listed in this menu. So let's go ahead and save this and I'll show you guys what this looks like in game. Let's go ahead and reload the plugin, do slash games. And then here it is, you guys can see all games. Um, later we can actually make it, make it to where it'll actually open up another menu which will list all the games here. But since the game menu already lists all the games, I don't really see why this is worth it or why it's here in the first place but we are recreating hypixel so it's here uh since it is on hypixel so in order for us to actually be able to get this um like item into our hand in our hotbar we need to add another plugin called item join in the description go ahead and add it um and then once you've loaded it onto the server go to its folder and go to items 
Once you're in the items folder, I want you to go ahead and delete absolutely everything under items. It's gonna be a lot of stuff. Literally delete all of the stuff right here because if you don't delete it and you join your server, most likely anyway, you will have a full inventory of random stuff. So I'll go ahead and get rid of all of that. And then I want you to go ahead and copy this over. I'm sorry it's a lot, but go ahead and copy this. Um, you can um, pause the video, go ahead and copy this on over. Uh, make sure it is in slot number zero. It will be a compass. Um, that is going to be the lore. And uh, yeah, just go ahead and make sure you've done this completely. Um, and then once you have done that, go ahead and save this file. Go back onto your server. And then do slash plug, plugman reload item join. And then let's go ahead and rejoin the server. Yeah, I'm going to have to restart this. Oh, I know it. I don't. Okay, here it is. Game menu, as you guys can see, it went into my uh, first slot, which it starts at zero, which is kind of strange, even though this is the first slot. And then when you click on it, it'll open up this menu. So here it is. Uh, we now have three of the, I believe, five menus that we need to create here on the hotbar. Um, so this is like the main one, uh, but they don't actually do anything yet um, because we don't have any games. But let's go ahead and create the lobby selector, which won't actually do anything, but we need it because it is a hotbar item. And then later on in the series, we will create the profile menu, which is very in-depth, a very long, hard process. So we'll do that maybe next episode. So let's go ahead and create the lobby selector. Okay, so go back into deluxe menus, go back into GUI menus, underneath game menu, go ahead and create a new text document. And let's go ahead and call it server-selector.yml. Actually, no, let's call it lobby selector, I'm sorry. Lobby-selector.yml, just like that. Once you've done that, go back onto your server. Go ahead and do plugman reload deluxe menus. Once you've done that, go back to the files. Now go back into deluxe menus, go into config, and we want to go ahead and add this menu into the list. So go all the way down to the very, very bottom. And under here, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Actually, we, don't, we probably don't need to copy it. Go ahead and just add this uh, new menu in, call it uh, the lobby selector, like so. And then let's go ahead and do file equals lobby hyphen selector dot yml just like that so we can actually create the yml file so go ahead and save it uh we can go back into here uh we need to go back onto the server we can actually do slash um plugman reload deluxe menus from our config or you can go into the server and do it now we go back into here now we have the, the yml file so we can go ahead and get rid of the text document go into the lobby selector notepad and then we can go ahead and get rid of everything that includes the hashtag. 